Oh, okay. Um, my name is Felipe, okay. I'm from Brazil, and I'm uh, talking about a uh, performance evaluation of a lecture, okay. And so I'm currently a doctoral student um, of computer science at Brazil, okay, Federal University of Pernambuco. And uh, my first question is, how many languages do you code and do you know? Uh, raise your hand um, who can know more than five languages. Okay. Uh, more than 10 languages. Okay. So, and by Wikipedia, we have uh, 619 programming languages in the world. Well, it's a lot of language, no? It's a lot of language. And uh, why we have a, a lot of language, okay? Why? Each language is uh, uh, resolve a specific problem and uh, have a specific feature. But, uh, uh, why? So much language, okay. 690 is a lot of language. So we have a lot of applications, and uh, the most popular uh, language is uh, you know by for everyone like here, okay. You understand? Uh, everybody here know sometimes uh, maybe three language, and the three language is a uh, common you know. Uh, for uh, everything here, okay? Everybody here. So, what's the problem? Okay, now we have a problem with massively scalable, okay? High available, concurrence, and fault tolerance, okay? Um, but, uh, and sometimes ago, it's very common when you try make a, make login at uh, Twitter, is do you see this while, okay? It's the past. But uh, why is common in the past? Because the first version, uh, the Twitter is writing in Ruby Rails, okay? And uh, before the big ban of the Twitter, uh, all backend core is changed by true Scala. And Facebook too, okay? Facebook uh, need create a new compiler for C++ and at called hip hop and change the, the chat to Erlang is because because receive a lot a lot many many access and it's very easy to write some application for web and uh, create uh, games for web and the networks okay Net network social network but uh, we have a lot of uh, guidelines in the web to describe uh, for us, for help us uh, to write uh, on any application for web. So, but if this specific application receives a lot, one million, one billion access, what's the problem? Probably you need to change all backend core for another language or another uh, solution is, oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Another solution is pay more, pay more to host, okay. And, uh, but this is a real solution. So, uh, allocate more servers for your application is ensure that your application stand up every? No, okay, because uh, because your applica application need uh, works well with distribute environments. And uh, so, what's the real problem? The real problem is the most languages we are not designed to uh, withstand massive concurrence, okay? A language based in shared memory, memory model do not support the necessary scalability. And a functional language is such Erlang 
and the Haskell is very hard to use. So if you if you don't uh, don't need don't care uh, use uh, Erlang or Haskell, what do you do? Okay. Alexi. Alexi has a friendly syntax. It's, it's a good idea to productivity. Uh, to increase object language, distribute fail to tolerance, okay? Make your system stand up uh, despite the failure. Alexi can use uh, Erlang libraries and call Erlang code. It's very compatibility, okay? So, what, uh, this is a, the sample of history, okay? Created by Joseph Valin, thanks Valin. And I uh, started uh, the position uh, 2012 and uh, Tayobi. And uh, we have uh, uh, good books by David Thomas, Samsa Jurik, Simon, Davan, and uh, Benjamin Tan, okay? And now the first, the first Alexir Conf, okay? Okay. What, uh, Alexir, uh, is a very easy to learn, to understand, such like a, a Ruby, okay? Massive passages, not use a memory, share memory. Uh, have a, a, has a partner matching, and uh, metaprogramming via macros, list comprehensions. And uh, what do you need? Okay, we need now building a backend system for B applications where massive concurrent is tolerant failure is a required, okay? And uh, how do we want, okay, a clear code and productivity, okay? It's very common, you, uh, you can see a lot of applications uh, using uh, Rails or Django. Uh, we have a lot of applications with uh, Java and PHP. But uh, this language is real, uh, all available research of the machine. Because if you have a, an application, an application, and uh, you, you uh, run this application, the uh, Amazon or Heroku, okay? And uh, when the big uh, access, do you receive a big access? And what do you do? So you pay most your host, and okay, but uh, this language is not use all available resources, the machine. And uh, what do you do? You pay most, most, more, more, more to host, okay? And uh, so how can we do it, okay? Using a lecture, but a lecture is a real language that support massive concurrency and uh, ta -da 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 -da. yeah? So I will show you the specific benchmark to prove that Alex Xi used all available research in, and uh, use uh, all available research and, uh, and uh, can use to receive massive access, okay? This has uh, specific tasks to prove that. Uh, this test, the Intel MPI benchmark is to make sure the massive concurrency, okay, massive uh, access, okay, this created by Intel, okay? And uh, the main goal is to make sure the efficiency and latency and tolerance, okay? And uh, all this, we will sh I will show you uh, with a beautiful code. Okay, let's start. Uh, the specific benchmark have uh, three categories, three different categories. Okay, single transfer, only exchange your one message between two process. Okay, we have a uh, two process and, uh, and for the single transfer. Parallel transfer, one message exchange per per of process, but several parts communicate in parallel. And collective transfer, 
Okay, measure employee collective operations. And we can see uh, three uh, ping ping, the red, ping pong, and send receive. Uh, we, we built a, a specific three tests to prove that, okay? I, I'm not to use an, any collective because uh, we can see that uh, many languages not support all the tests for to do three tests and uh, not need uh, choose another test, okay? Ping, ping. This benchmark measures the efficiency in the treatment of blocking, okay? What uh, we can see that uh, we have a, a one process and create two process, and the one process send to another process the message with uh, X bytes. Okay, ping pong is very similar uh, to ping ping but the message is obstructed, but in common message. You can see the picture here, okay? The ping ping test is asynchronous, okay, message passing between two process, and ping pong is synchronous message passing between two process. So, uh, and ping ping, we create a two process, and the, the first process send a message with, uh, with uh, X byte size, to the second process, and uh, the, the first process waiting, okay? Because the second process uh, responds with the same message. And uh, ping pong the, is a synchronous message, okay? Uh, the, the first process send a, a message with us X bytes to, message, to second process, and the second process send another message to process one. Okay, and send receive. The try the ring send receive is the, the simple test to parallel transfer, okay? Many process is created and each one sends to ring and receive to the left neighbor uh, in the chain, okay? A two process will report the big direction of the system as obtained by optimization function. Okay, we can see this picture to illustrate. Okay, massive uh, creation of process, many, many process. And uh, the process one sent to the ring process and received to the left. Okay. So, but uh, to make sure uh, the performance, uh, we need to compare the Alexi with another language. And uh, I will show you that we have uh, 619 languages and more, okay? And uh, keep it ground, keep increasing the, the number of the language. And uh, we use a uh, most popular language, okay? By GitHub. Uh, Tayobi and Stack Overflow questions and uh, Spectrum. The list of the languages used to prove the test is er Erlang, Alixir, Java, Scala, Python, Ruby, and uh, Orlang. I think that is the uh, only language that uh, anybody here maybe not don't know, okay? Orlang, but I will talk a little bit and the uh, sun. Uh, this environment, environment, environment configuration. Okay, we use the three, three, three computers to run all the tests uh, without uh, any GUI to, to interface. Okay, this is a version about the, the any many language that we use. Okay. Orlang is an extension, okay? It's an extension for object-oriented. It's a, it's a very, very good uh, to, the, to understand the code. And uh, the syntax is close to Java, okay? Making it easier to adopt object-oriented programs. We can see more 
info in this host, uh, homepage and, and the GitHub. And the, all this code uh, that uh, I will use in this test, you can see in this repository at GitHub. Okay, let's decode. This is us, the first test, ping ping, okay? We pass in the, the smashing size and the repetition. We create a process, two process, and send the first message to, to another process. And receive, and before we finalize the two process. Okay, uh, we collect that, we store all the time for creating the process and uh, passing the message, okay? Is the, the code to ping ping, the, the work server uh, receive and the finalize. So this part is uh, to calculate the bandwidth and generate the code in the time second, microsecond. And this part we use in, this, in the, all the tests to ping ping, ping pong, and send receive. Okay, the experiments. The experiment, uh, we need to uh, run a lot of repetitions, okay? 500, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million, okay? And change the message size for 5 kilobytes, 10 kilobytes. Uh, five, uh, 500, 500, no, uh, 5,000 uh, kilobytes, 10,000, 500,000, and uh, 100,000. Okay, this is uh, the result. We can see the, in the top the, the, the results of the Ruby. And the uh, stop for of in uh, fifteen five hundred thousand repetitions. Okay, we uh, end up passing the five thousand kilobytes. Okay, Python, and uh, the purple is a uh, pink is Scala, the blue is Java. In the same line, uh, one one result on the, the same line under we have a, we can see a Erlang, Orlang and Elixir, okay? It's the same line. Okay, uh, messaging with uh, 10,000 10, kilobytes, Ruby not support, okay? Because Ruby, Python, in the Java and the Scala too, all these languages use a uh, thread, okay? And uh, just uh, this language with this size of the message. Ping ping with the message uh, 15,000, uh, okay, kilobytes. And the, this line is a repetition. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 100,000, uh, 500,000, and 1 million. Okay, these are repetition. Okay, we keep uh, increase the, the, the size message. And uh, Okay, this is a less of ping ping. This is a code for ping pong, but uh, the only difference between the ping ping and ping pong is the process one send to process a message to process two. The process two uh, send another another message to process one. Okay, it's not the same. It's a synchron synchron test. And we, we just need to finalize the one process. Okay. The first test will be in the top. Python is a yellow, pink, or purple is Scala. Java is a blue, 
and the same line you want on one under the another is the Arlang, Overlang, and Alexi, okay, for all habitations. Uh, ping pong with the message 10, 10,000 kilobytes. Rub, rub not support. Uh, ping pong with the message 15,000. The size. All repetitions. We can see the curve of Python. Is a uh, better that Scala, but not Java. Okay. We we calculate uh, the mean and variance and the standard deviation to plot this graph. Okay. Ping pong with the message is uh, ten, uh, one hundred thousand, one thousand hundred. 100,000, sorry. So this is a little difference between uh, R, R lang and R lang and Alexi, but it's the, it's the mean, okay? Basically, it's the same line. Rib not support. Okay, the send receive is a different because we have a pass the message size we have a pass a repetition and the number of the process because we we created a lot process okay many many process to to pass in the message we generate the data start the the time create the process and uh, we make sure this time to create all the process and send the message the second part, the ring a node, is the chain of the between the the message passing. This specific benchmark is to make sure if, uh, the performance to use the library MPI, okay, the message pass interface. So this is the last part of the code. And let's the we we pass in the the one argument or more uh, there is a process number iterations and message size. So the first test, the first results, Python and Rub not support this test. Okay, and uh, Java stopped to work uh, after ten. 10,000, okay, 10,000 repetition. But Scala keep work, and then the same line, Erlang, Alexi, and Orlang. And uh, we increase the, the message size and the number of the process, okay. And receive with one one hundred process and the message size uh, uh, fifteen kilobytes. Send receive. Send receive. Okay, we we test and uh, repeat all the tests, all the suite the the tests we repeat ten times. Okay. The same line, Erlang and the uh, and Erlang and the uh, Alexi and Orlang. It's a little different. The performance and keeping crazy, keeping crazy. Okay, keeping crazy. Uh, so Scala not support this test anymore. Java and Python and Ruby, okay? Just Erlang, 
or like an elixir. So, and the, the Alaska, the most communicative language goes to Erlang, Alexei, and Oralang. Uh, the clear uh, superiority of the Erlang over other languages and the Alexei uh, and Oralang uh, earns the Erlang performance, okay? So this is a, a good point to see that uh, is very similar the results of uh, Erlang and uh, Alexei. How much close is Erlang for Alexei? Uh, so these three languages uh, is limited only to the host machine and they use all available resources of the machine. Okay, this is like, good for, for us. The results, uh, Scala, Java, and Python, and Ruby unable to run the test to completion, okay? And stopped work after 10,000 process and, uh, for Java. And do not use all available resources of the machine. But these specific tests is only to make sure the communicative, okay, and massive uh, communication uh, between the process and the threads, okay? But uh, not uh, measure the granularity of the language. And a good idea, uh, we test to the granularity. And, uh, but this, uh, this proof uh, keep for the future tests, okay? In this home uh, site, we can see more info about the computer language benchmark game, and uh, we have a lot uh, on older tests, okay? And uh, we can see in this page uh, all the code for any many language, but not Alexei, not yet. And then um, uh, we are working in this repository now. And all con contributors for this work is, is here. Rafael, Josimai, Emiliano, Francisco, Benjamin for the electrical review, and Jose Valin too, okay? Is this. Thank, Thank you. you.